And this episode of Turtle Show, we talk about the NCAA and the possibility of them losing all the big players to the NBA. We also talk about the mock drafts that all these websites are coming up with. We also talk about the possibility of the Packers falling off. So stay tuned. We never even said anything about that. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Turf Toe Show, presented by TurfToeShow.com. Turf Toe. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Actually, not really YouTube. And your dreams. I mean, you can't find us on YouTube. And apparently your dreams. Freddy Krueger. But you know people's dreams, bro? Telling them to uh, draft Saquon Barkley. <laughs> word, word. And not okay. Toe. Well, as you can see, we're no longer just the two peoples. We got Glow Man back I now. I returned. I returned. Right, the tryout for return. Technical Spin. difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There was a glitch in the matrix, so I <laughs> He was in a brisket yeah, coma. Yeah, right. I was, right. I was, I was it, was, it was it was worth it. All Frank, 12 Franklin's, pounds of it. Franklin's. Franklin's brisket. If you've never had it, Turf Toe Turf Toe Barbecue Show comes soon. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm dead ass about that. I'll do it too. Like I got nothing else to do with my life right now. <laughs> I need to get out the house more anyway. But I'm like Floyd and I'm actually pretty hungry for brisket now. But it's not on my dietary plan. So mm. bodybuilders, bodybuilders. I mean, I know you know who will have time to get some brisket if they uh, retire or shit out of half the season. Look out, Bill! Boom! Mm. Yes, he may have some time to get some brisket. I mean, he's he's a rich man, so he can buy a lot of twenty two dollar a pound brisket. He can, <laughs> <laughs> but can he eat it during the season? I mean, he's, he sits out half the season anyway. Right. Well, actually, normally, like last season was the first season he played every single game. Normally, he's out the first four games anyway. But this year, he could be out the entire season. But he's also Stephen Harris, by the way, if you didn't know. Oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't know. I thought he was going into it, my I got, I, got, I got so wrapped up in the brisket and let me on the outside. Yeah, you know, Stephen Harris, uh, I don't know what else to say. So, since we're already on that, would you pay Le'Veon Bell the $14 million a year? Do you, you think he's worth that? That's the franchise tender. I mean, yeah. if they're going to tag him, that's where he's going to be paid. And because he, tag him. he obviously yeah. thinks he deserves to be paid more because, yes, he is the best running back in the league right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, the Steelers kind of need him because yeah, kinda. you got you got you know businesses booming out there. You got Juju, you got a uh, still cast name uh, Antonio, Antonio Brown, Brown. No, not Antonio Brown, uh, Martavis Bryant, Bryant. Ooh, he's yeah. So yeah, you got the receivers, but you need that running game. I mean, you do need the running game. Um, and you don't, you don't want to give him up to anybody else. No, there's no like if you let him go anywhere else in the AFC, you just you just, you just gave them a Super Bowl. Right? It's just, I don't get it. He, he's he's the best running back in the NFL right now. Yes. He, he's just playing simple. Even with the prior seasons, he's only he's not even playing he's not even playing the full season. Um I think they need to pay the man. Yeah. I don't I don't know what I don't know exactly what their uh uh what their salary cap looks like or how the contracts are lining up with, you know, Antonio Brown, Ben. Uh, Brown got paid, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, Brown got paid. Well he's a wide receiver, so he's gonna get paid. That's that's you know that's the top tier under the quarterback is is wide receiver. Yeah. But let me know to pay. I don't care how undervalued or devalued the running back position has been in the NFL. This guy needs to get paid. He's he, he he's 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 splitting out like a wide receiver. Yeah. And running routes like a wide receiver, and <laughs> they can't cover. He, he's still catching touchdowns. He's still getting downfield, and he put him in the backfield. He's finding the holes. I mean, you you, you watch this guy talk in the interviews about how. He's he's trying to read the defense just as well as a quarterback is, so he can he can bluff the linebacker and find the right hole, and that's that, that, that's what you need. Yeah, you yeah. can't just have a guy. You can't you can't just have a guy in the backfield saying, "Okay, right, I'm, I'm running, running left. Yeah, go here. Don't yeah, look wrong, better. Just, just run, run over. Just run. Yeah, just run him over. That's not his game. I mean, yeah, it's I, I don't know why they won't just give him that kind. Of, I mean, he does have somewhat of a. He's not a diva like Brown. He's not. But no. I think they uh, they don't trust him in the sense of. Maybe conduct. Don't you get that check on me? Hey. I think it's more there is injury bias because you know running. He's twenty six years old. They usually start falling the cliff around what 30, 28, 30. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, they give him that big time contract. That's four years. He's only had one notable injury. Yeah. But that's the thing. They're they're probably afraid that he's he's due for one. Uh, I guess. That's not what the. Right. I mean, to franchise them and continue to pay what they're paying. I mean, the game kind of. Well, another thing is you franchise for uh, you franchise this year and you can franchise what one more time next year because they're mm-hmm. going to do twice. Yeah. yeah, they might think they overpay them next year because they're probably going to franchise. Them no, no, this is this is this is the second franchise. This is the second time. This this year is the second. Mm-hmm. All right, so they might. All right, fourteen million dollars. I mean, then if he doesn't get injured this year, they give him the contract. I mean, wow. 
I mean, they franchise Kirk Cousins two years in a row. Well, that's because Kirk Cousins hasn't done anything. Yeah. This is the most. I mean, he most hasn't, game. but they still. Has he even won a playoff game? No. But what, I guess I, I guess what I'm trying to say, like in the vein of people getting franchised, they, they franchised Kirk Cousins two years in a row because they wanted to give him a contract, but they wanted to keep it. That's because the Redskins are a bunch of morons. They are a bunch of morons. That's the point I'm trying to make as far as the Steelers right now. They're, uh-huh. being, they're being morons with a better player. Yeah. And that, that after this year, they, they, I mean, they could lose him. They could lose him this year. They could franchise him, and if he's serious about what he's saying about him mm-hmm. retiring or sitting out for the whole season, they, they might lose him because they don't want to give him a contract. Yeah. And, I mean, I understand the NFL is all about money. It's all about the bottom line. And they have to work within, you know, the salary cap and whatever. Well, he wants to be the highest paid. And he deserves to. Yeah, he deserves to. He's he been deserves to it multiple, multiple, multiple times. He does. I mean, we can... That's why I think they tried to make things, and he's like, no. I think he's denied some of those. They can't reach an agreement, so it's like, well... I did see a report that uh, there was a contract that was put out he that he rejected. Yeah. Because it wasn't what he was looking for, he which wants, he is wants, his prerogative. Has he stated what he's looking for? He wants to put running back back on the map. He wants him to get paid better, so he wants to be paid. Obviously, he's... He wants to be the one to set that bar. Set that bar like they have done for corners in the past. Or quarterbacks making these ridiculous amounts of money who are, who are unproven. That's a second. <laughs> uh, well, now Garoppolo, <laughs> and it's crazy because now like, <laughs> the 49ers are just a bunch of morons. Like, yeah. I thought they revamped that entire system and new coaches and everything. And they and, give this and, yeah, and a, a quarterback to play five games, a massive contract like that. And then that, that's, how, that's how programs stay at the bottom. It's because they got like the that. money, bro. That's why you they got the You got the money, money, but why not spread the money? So that you get quality play. I mean, you don't need, you don't always need an all star, a superstar. You know what's going to happen is Bill Belichick's going to become the GM of the 49ers. That's what I did. So they can keep Jimmy G there. <laughs> that may be, you know what? <laughs> could, you imagine, could you imagine that happen? Like, he just. Maybe that's why he's like, you know, I'll trade you there, but I'll be there on my, on my way. Right. I mean, he so, still hasn't got a defensive coordinator. He doesn't need one. And, yeah, I mean, he wanted, he, he's, he's, a, he's a defensive type guy. He does the offense. I understand that, but, you know, normally the head coach is not also the defensive coordinator. Yeah, yeah, Unless yeah. you're Jeff Fisher. But then the, the your team sucks. Be good, <laughs> be good for that. Just a cancer team. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's got to be a, some type of hidden reason why they're not going to get Bell that contract. Yeah. Uh, Rappaport just tweeted out, Antonio Brown completes a base to bonus restructure to create cap space for Levy on Bell franchise tag. Okay. So I don't I mean, know what that means, but... So Brown's basically, he's taking he, a pay he's, cut? Yeah, he's taking a pay cut right now so they have money for... For that franchise thing. Yeah. For him to just not play. I mean, that... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, they... I heard Stephen A saying, like, look, you gotta... It's a business. Get your money, but you can't have emotions in it. It's like, I understand mm-hmm. you want to be paid the highest paid player in the, the running back in the NFL, but you're threatening to retire. There's no job that's going to pay you 14 mil at 25 years... Well, 26 years old. No, hell. Right now, that's not, the, that's not sports related. Like, what are you going to do? Become a water boy? They make $56,000 a year. I mean, what do you know what he does? Paper, that, I'm, that's I'm amazing. Saying, that's amazing. I'll be a hydration expert. <laughs> for 56000 Right. Give me water. Right. But oh, you want some more? I got explosive. Well, say no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. It's, it's, it's ionizing everything perfectly. <laughs> perfectly to, to saturate those muscles. Sooner. I just checked the pH it's balance. Nice. Perfect. I boiled it three times before I threw the frozen. <laughs> Yes. No, the water is gone. <laughs> Knock it over. No, don't get the. Hey, don't dump that on the coach. No, <laughs> it's fourth quarter. <laughs> Tony Brown's cramping up. I got this. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, if you, how about you just get, get that 15 mil and then just balls out and then they can't franchise him again? And then they just go somewhere else? And they go somewhere else and get that super chance. Because obviously the Steelers are showing you what they thought about, think about you. Yeah. They think you're expendable. Right. Like our bosses do. And mm. yeah, that's shots fired because I know they don't listen to this. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I would just like I would literally go to a competitor. Like, yeah, I would go to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Say Baltimore, just throwing it out there. Oh no! I just just saying. Just the, no, because they go they gonna wear you down with their lack of receivers. And no, go to San Francisco. So they got this amazing quarterback now. They need a running back. You know that'd be hilarious. That'd be great. Why not? They got they get that. You want that big contract? You know what I'm you know what I seen really doing something crazy like going to the Browns? Cause I know they'll throw money at them. Yeah. And then they automatically start winning games. Well, they're gonna start winning this year. They're not gonna take one Barkley. Um. I mean, why not? Why would um, Is Sean Kaiser to save one Barkley? No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 
So obviously we're switching to the uh, the whole NFL combine that just happened. We're all over the place today, but so, uh, Saquon Barkley went completely off. I don't remember what um, he put up, but he just destroyed the entire everything. And, like everything. I know uh, Shaquem is it Shaquem Griffin? Griffin, yeah, linebacker. He's no joke. He ran with the fastest on the time was a four three four three five for a linebacker fastest time. Yeah, and linebacker. I'll, I'll say Barkley ran a four forty a four 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 flat. Yeah, so Shaquem Griffin, uh, linebacker UCF. Four three eight in the forty yard dash, Just blazing man. Right, he tied. Actually, apparently, that tied his brother Shaquille Griffin for the Seattle for the Seattle uh, Seahawks from a year ago. No, okay. I thought it was a four three five, but I thought he's brother. But I mean, like I mean either, either way, that's still that's still fast. Man. That's still really fast. <laughs> yeah, four three is is mad. They said that he, by him doing that and then just showing out on the the whole bench press and everything, he moved up from pretty much not being drafted to a legit third fourth rounder right now. I, mean, I can see it. I mean, there's a lot of people that are looking at that and saying. They would, they would take this. I mean, a lot of players, you know, coaches and GMs. You know why I would take him? That, the reason I would take him is because, say, like, you're, he, you know, he probably won't start when he first gets in. But yeah. when he does get to play, he'll probably be like a nickel package or a dime package. He's got to. And the coach will be like, he's making tackles, and he literally only has one hand. Right. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> like, because I was like, I was watching a couple, like, the games that he was playing. The dude moves, bro. He can move. Oh, like, yeah. The only thing that messes him up, you know, when they're going against the old linemen, they use their hands to get around. Yeah. He uses a lot of, ch- like, head fakes and a lot of spin moves, mm-hmm. and they'll probably key in on that. But if they can help him with a little bit, you know, a little juke moves and stuff like that, he'll, he's going to be deadly, man. He'll be a good rusher. He can, he can get if they can turn into a Papa Malo now, mm. just flying over the line, blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. Wow. Yeah, maybe. Wow. I, I mean, JPP played with one whole hand in all year. Cool. But he still had the hand. <laughs> He just was he just a like club. A finger or something. <laughs> but he was an <laughs> interior lineman. That's what I would do. I would put a club on there so when the running back comes to the middle, whoa! <laughs> yeah, you, that, that's why I think he'd be a more of a jack or linebacker. Or, <sighs> jack is a, the guy, basically a linebacker who blitzes. Like a Von Miller, basically. I put him at safety, yeah. man. All you gotta do is knock it down. True. No, he got he, the in the NFL, no, you knock it down is still a loss in the NFL. Or you just gonna. In high school, sure, knock it down. But no, in college, <laughs> pick it off. No, he wants to go for the. Badass one-handed interception. He probably can do it too. No, that's the wrong. That and then tip it to, to, to the receiver again. No, <laughs> just just blitz and, and he'll be awesome. I like him as a blitz. He's fast. I, I like him as a blitz. Too. Well, speaking about everybody else at the draft, there's I want, is it Josh Rosen? No, who's the one from uh Sam Darnold? Who? Who's the one from where? Who's the one from USC? Sam Darnold. No, the, the other one. That's Josh the, Allen. Josh, Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from Wyoming. No, that's not him. Then it's uh. Rosen, the one Rose, has, UCLA is Rosen. The one has a bad attitude. Uh, Mayfield, Mayfield, not Mayfield. I think it's I think it's Rosen. They're talking about how he screwed up his draft stock, just having a bad attitude at the combine. Well, I, everyone was kind of making fun of the reports, like all the all the quarterbacks were like, "Yeah, I'm the best quarterback in the draft." You know, any team's gonna win. You know, as soon as they take me, people were like kind of getting on him for them. Like, well, I feel like that's kind of how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not gonna come in like, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I maybe mean, top three. Yeah, you know, if I get drafted, I get drafted. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, Rosen said that. No, I'm saying like the the, the quarterbacks like Mayfield, Rosen, and Allen. Yeah. They, they, they came out and were kind of bragging on themselves, saying how good they were as quarterbacks, and people were getting on them. You know, like just some of the sports uh, like talk guys. That's because sports ain't got nobody else to talk about, right? Yeah, now. but like my thing is like they're not going to come out and say like, yeah, man, they're not going to be, they're not going to downplay themselves. Part of this is a whole interview for the draft to make teams look at them more. Like, okay, so maybe he has those intangibles. Maybe he does have that confidence that we just haven't seen before. It's not being cocky. I don't see him being cocky. I see him as being, being confident. You know, they're confident in their ability. They want to build more. So why not Why not talk about it? This is time to talk about That's literally what the combine is, to show off your ability. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. And your, and your <laughs> attitude, I understand, like, you kind of have to be somewhat cocky. Because if you notice the, 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 the most elite quarterbacks in the NFL aren't cocky anymore. Because they once you've already, like, done so much... Right, you, well, you, you gotta prove. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, gotta prove no more. You let the numbers talk for you. So, and that's here, why I got Tom I Brady wearing arms out here. Don't let me talk. Tom Brady's just, just something um, that luxurious hair. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. I do agree that in the sense that you gotta gotta sell yourself, so you need to be confident about it. So, how y'all feel about Lamar Jackson? Is it Lamar Jackson? Mm-hmm. Saying like, "Hey, I'm not working out receivers. I'm a quarterback. I'm doing quarterback stuff." Yeah. And everybody trying to give him flack about it, saying, "Oh, why don't you just go do it?" I personally think, "Hey, you think you're a quarterback?" Go for quarterback. Yeah. I mean, you, you've been playing quarterback your whole life. Why should they change to receiver now? Yeah. No, there's no reason for him to change up. If I, that's where he knows. 
I don't see why you wouldn't just work out with him. Well, they didn't ask any other, other quarterbacks to do it. Yeah. Like Baker Mayfield. No, no, because none of those guys are true. Those guys are not anything else but quarterbacks. Lamar yeah. Jackson, as a, you look at him, he has the body of a receiver. So what's he trying to say, sir? I'm saying his arm. I mean, I'm going to say I'm also not a fan of black scrambling quarterbacks. <laughs> like I always say. I'm not a fan of quarterback scrambling. I didn't think he was going to walk into that. <laughs> I, mean, I'm just, uh, I knew what you were doing. So I'm like, I'm not going to come with it. I'll be here around the bush. I mean, I'm just saying I don't like certain, even, okay, black or white or whatever. If you're more of a scrambler than a thrower, I'm just not a fan of it. I'm not. It's one thing to shift out the pocket, but no. Like, I, and then he didn't do that well at the combine anyway. Why not show off, showcase your speed? So, because if, if someone's, they so that de- people are so desperate for quarterbacks, they may, they won't take a chance on you. Even to well, some may, but I don't think that's a good idea. Griffin kind of messed that up for you, bro. Robert Griffin the third already ruined that. No, yeah. Robert Griffin the third came in broken. Anyway. He came in broken. It's not a, okay. It don't take much to get broken in the NFL, especially if you. It really don't take running. much when you already tore your ACL three times. I mean, <laughs> I mean Bradford got drafted a lot. He got drafted pretty high, and he was beat up too. I, I'm just saying, I feel like it wouldn't have hurt to to, to, to see your speed, to see your route running ability, to see what you can do. Yes, you're you're, you're going to come in as a quarterback, but it, to risk, I mean, I don't know, to risk not getting drafted, to risk getting drafted really low. Because now people think that you're not going to even be convinced to play wide receiver. So well, now, why take a chance on you? So if they wanted him to go to the wide receiver, so why didn't Sam Darnold throw at the fucking combine? Mm. Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, he's going for quarterback. Hey, he has that option because he knows. They, 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 honestly, here's why. I think that one because he has a bad attitude. <laughs> two, I feel that he already knows he's guilty going number one over two anyway, based on his resume from college. Why? Why not throw? What they? What, what did they actually do? He, he's turnover prone, yep. but he... Throwing at people's feet? The thing is, I don't like... Well, what I, him, him throwing wasn't really the problem. He's got a great he's got a great arm, and anyone can see that. So throwing it really ain't the issue, because they don't do any d- uh, design coverage reads in the combine. So that's his problem, just like it's Winston's problem. Just like it was Cam Newton's problem in the beginning. His problem is reading coverages. So put a playbook in front of him. Put, a, put, a, put him on Madden. And let him play the no. video game and let him okay. see if he can read. No, really, because that's his problem. And that's going to be his problem. And remember this. Remember this. March 8th, I'm telling you, Sam Darnold's going to be, he's going to be the white James Winston. He's going to be throwing picks <laughs> everywhere. And don't and you can say his rookie if you want to. And when he does it the next season also, you know, he'll, he'll throw pretty balls too, but he's, he's turnover prone. And that's, and I, I, mark my words. Mark my words. I'm looking at this, guys. Uh, this is profootballfocus.com. I don't know what website this is. It just popped up on my Twitter feed. That's actually like the go-to stat website. What like, is? They're actually really good. They're really good because they have uh, Baker Mayfield going number one to Cleveland Browns. Mark. Oh, you're looking at that mock draft? <laughs> yeah. Mark, what, what, what's it called? Pro Football Focus. Pro Football Focus. But that's not a bad option, man. It's not. It's not, it's oh. not a bad option. But the number one overall pick, Baker Mayfield. When you have two picks well, in, the, in the, the top ten. Okay. Let's look at this they, still, they still have the Browns with the number one pick? Yeah. The Browns. They, they got Mayfield going first, mm-hmm. da- Donald going second to the Giants, Maurice Hurst from Michigan going to the Colts. Did I miss something? Why does the Giants have the number one? Uh... Because this is a different mock. Oh. <laughs> but, but it says the, the Browns have the overall pick. Yeah, they got the overall pick. They're, they're probably thinking the Giants going to trade up yeah. to get that quarterback. Yeah. To get Allen? They're going to trade up for number two. But they're number three. Okay, if they're trading their number two, then they gotta be going for Saquon. Well, that's the thing. No, the, the Giants have the number two pick. That's See, the thing. This so is this gonna this trade. Is, they're uh, just saying they're flip, yeah, they're gonna trade up because they think the Browns are gonna try to take Josh Allen because they're quarterback killers. Yeah. They want Josh Allen from Wyoming. The, they, right. Everybody wants him, and this, everybody's saying that the Giants are willing to trade up to get him. Yeah, according to CBS, the newest mock draft, Giants trade up for Josh Allen's number one pick. Browns take Bradley Chubb at two. Colts Damn. take Saquon Barkley at three. Browns with the fourth pick take Sam Darnold. And the Broncos take Josh Allen UCLA. I saw one where uh, Rosen would Rosen needs to go to the, the Giants. Man. I saw one where the Jackson goes to the Saints. Really? Mm-hmm. hmm He's definitely going to be receiving that. Yeah. I mean, they need a quarterback on what's his face? Drew Brees? Because the guy that they had is not there anymore. I would, yeah. I, I would rather Atlanta take. If Atlanta took Lamar Jackson, I think he has a chance. But they don't run, they have a scrambling quarterback system out there because Matt Ryan don't run. I know, but they can implement it. They ain't nothing to implement it. You know where you should go? Jacksonville. Because Tom Coughlin will get them right. So staying with the CBS new mock draft that came out, they also have the Green Bay Packers taking Marcus Davenport, a uh, defensive end from UTSA. They're washed up anyway. And 
the Baltimore Ravens taking Calvin Ridley, wide receiver from Alabama. So we can make, we can hurt him. Probably. <laughs> so <laughs> we take receivers all the time now, and they are always garbage. Like Rashard Perryman, garbage. I mean, you have Steve Smith, who was like on the, the the he was our best receiver, who was on the back end of his career for the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He's the best receiver. You he should go on a Hall of Fame. <laughs> like real talk. As long as the Colts get Saquon. The Colts all, aren't getting all Saquon. All is right in the world. The Colts aren't getting Saquon. Yeah, they are, bro. According no. this draft, they are. The, the Saquon's going to the Giants. Not the Giants are going to trade up for Allen. No, the Giants are going to sit number two. They're going to they're going to they're going to make the Browns draft a quarterback. I mean, you got three to pick from. I mean, Browns <laughs> just need a one. They don't matter. So they're going to pick the wrong one. No one else. <laughs> Let me just read the justification that the CBS mock draft has for the Colts taking Saquon Mark. If Andrew Luck isn't 100% and no one seems to know when he will be, shade, which is very <laughs> true. Barkley can be for Jacoby Brissett, the hot hands, where Ezekiel Elliott was for Dak Prescott in 2016. What? That's, that's all I got. That is true. <laughs> I can agree with that. Maybe you're right, Defoe. Maybe you're right. He was on something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. All right. I don't know why <laughs> Brissett is just... So, y'all love him so much. Okay, Dak... And a Z, you're right. But okay, here's the thing. They're both bums. Jackson <laughs> bums, percent the bomb, and it shows in the seasons. So in that sense, yeah, Saquon could be that. But that's not gonna happen. Luck is gonna come back. It's not showing their hand right now, man. Luck is gonna be Luck there. isn't showing his hand because it's not throwing. Hey, how do you know? Maybe you're just keeping your clubs quiet. They're keeping it quiet on the draft. Why not? I feel like so that bad. would be percent 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 is not where they need to get. If that was the case, I would trade. I feel like if 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 Luck was throwing, that'd be all over the news. Yep. That would be headline news because he hasn't thrown. He, he practiced, what, a couple times last year? Who did you say he is? They ain't got his clothes all that, bro. Dude, uh, with all the stuff that gets leaked out in the NFL. Somebody would know. Somebody. You never know. I mean, with that hairy face, somebody's going to recognize that guy <laughs> throwing the ball. I, I think there's more to the game that we don't know. We're saying, no. Yeah, they so need Saquon anyway for the future. Because now you got, you, got, you got your bruiser, who's also like your everything, and you still got Mac, who is your definitely like your – your your third down, your passing, your passing down back. But he's also you have two two prolific backs, one up and up, so one that's already just ready to go. You have you need to work with your receiving core, but the defense you got some solid solid secondary there. Like it, it's yeah. it, everything's there. Luck will be back, and guess what? Fun. You know what? Let him come back week five, week six, week seven. It don't matter. He gonna he took he took a tr- a sorry Colts team eleven to five three seasons in a row, bro. Come on now. If it wasn't for Tom Brady and, and it wasn't for Baltimore, Pittsburgh, and, and New England, the entire AFC. I'm just saying. Hold well, I on, man. You're saying let him come back week five, week six, week seven. Fine. That's what they were saying last year. And he didn't come back week five, week six, four weeks. They weren't sure. I'm think, I think they, they took a the whole doctors, year. The doctors were like, "Yo, you can play." He's like, "Oh no, I can't play. Oh my god, I can't." Because he, I, cause, well, look, they they were gonna tank that season anyway for this exact reason. It's gonna it's gonna prove brilliant. It's gonna prove brilliant. It's gonna when, yeah, part. brilliant for Jacoby Brissett when he becomes a Hall of Fame quarterback for the Colts. He's a black paint man. You know who you, just sold all his top of Johns, by the way. Here's what you yes. here, here's what you guys are just gonna, are gonna do for me. <laughs> this is my life. You guys are gonna make me rip on him the entire next season. <laughs> like instead of you know worshiping the Packers, like I usually, I'm just gonna like put that on hold and just put a little hat here that sells the Packers. I'm just gonna talk about Brissett the entire time <laughs> because this is ridiculous. Yeah, you're gonna talk about his amazing stats. No, not yeah. amazing stats. He's a bum, bro. There are no no <laughs> black you quarterback. I mean, okay, he has. Russell Wilson is the only. <laughs> Do had three hundred and ninety eight, or sorry, three thousand ninety eight passing yards for thirteen TDs and seven interceptions last year. You know what does that mean? So you didn't, didn't break four thousand, so you're not even anything. Y'all, all y'all could do is throw the ball. They got no, like half through. All right, check this. It was either to no, or it was check downs. Down. It was check downs. Okay, you, okay, you, you check down the ball and that was a thirty yard run. That's still technically thirty yards passing. He did yeah, it all season. He, he didn't break four hundred yards because he had out the Frank Gore. So he gets 1,000 yards. Uh, yeah, so? you know, trying to help out the seniors, man. No, nah, negative. He, he, no, he didn't break 4,000 because of that. No, but he, he had plenty of time because defense was getting mowed down every game. So right. he was like, he had, <laughs> how many, he was, he, do you know when he get, he was getting doubled the amount of perception, uh, uh, um, not receptions. Damn, that's the word I'm looking for. Look, the amount of chances, no, not attempts, but like, um, but possessions, there we go. Oh, okay, receptions. Okay. He was getting so many <laughs> possessions because the defense just, just wore out. Nah, man, he had to throw because they were down every damn game. So, no, nah, man. Work. Well, I'm looking at... Uh, and they, and yeah, they worked to them to get the third round pick. Third, I'm looking at... Since we're on the, the topic of mock drafts, I'm looking at the world's greatest sports website, USA Today. 
<laughs> yeah, and super for some naked. reason they decided to do a mock draft, and they have Browns taking Saquon Barkley as number one, uh, Giants taking Sam Darnold, the Colts taking Bradley Chubb, and the Browns taking Josh Allen. All the right. Broncos taking Josh Rosen. Seems to be uh, well, a lot of people are thinking the Broncos yeah. taking Josh Rosen, but. I don't understand why there would be any shuffling really in that top five for no. the, for the, for the, any of those teams. Yeah, they, they, like I they think pretty much can get whoever they want. I yeah. mean, whoever they they're going to want, I think they'll be fine. Like I don't think there's really going to be any big trade things or anything that's going to happen. Um, there was there was a report that uh, or not a report. I don't know, something that got tweeted out uh, last week that uh, one of my friends said to me. Shout out to Cliff Rodriguez. Shout out. Um, Basically saying that there was talk between the Browns and the Broncos as far as a trade for the number one overall pick, depending on where Kirk Cousins lands. Bro, bro. I, I just don't love know. the fact that you managed to tie in a Broncos conversation into the top. Into the combine. That is amazing how you managed to like slowly sneak that in there. Hey, Gary Kubiak and John Nelly were there. They were watching the combine. I thought Gary Kubiak was dead. No, he's alive. He's a, like a special consultant or something for the Broncos. No chill at all. <laughs> no, but like... I. I don't know how I don't know how that would work out because I don't know where they think Kirk Cousins is going to land. Uh, the Browns. He's going where the check is. <laughs> the Browns. If he, he, if no he goes to the Browns, bro, that means they have a number one and number four pick that doesn't even be a quarterback. Uh, Saquon Barkley, bro. Yeah. It's all. Oh my player. gosh, <laughs> that they're going to literally get Barkley and Chubb. And or or it's the Browns and it just it doesn't work. It just doesn't work because it's the Browns. That's literally a possibility. Uh, There's no way that, that could not work. All that talent, bro, they got to make the playoffs. There's, There's no way that wouldn't work. If they get Kirk Cousins, Saquon Barkley, and Chubb, but and what's Josh Gordon back to, I'm and a saying. decent defense, there's you no know, you way. You might as well just get Kirk Cousins, Barkley, and then just Jeff Ridley, and then just have Dude, be a monster Coleman, team. Gordon, and Ridley, and then you got Saquon. <laughs> bro, <and> that's like, <laughs> Hugh Jackson's going to be like, oh. No. If he messes that up, he might as well just blow that entire franchise up. To I'm people. telling you, that's, that, it, that, it's a brand. There's no, you can't mess that up. But the, the front office they got, they, they could. They got rid of the, everybody that was in that original front office that kept screwing stuff up. Okay. The New Cousins need to just go there. Nah. Dude, Closer, I mean, Closer's alumni, Michigan State, might yeah. as well. And they got, the, they, if they like you said, oh if, they got, if they get Kirk Cousins, they're taking Saquon Barkley first. But they got to do that because once those guys get all, all get out those rookie contracts, they're not going to be able to afford all, those, all that talent they have right now. Oh, no, no, no. no. So, so they got to do something. They got to do, yeah, do it now. I'll do it now and they just. Especially in the AFC Walls, like, it's kind of hurting right now. Mm-hmm. This is the perfect Everybody's time. Everybody's vulnerable. Everybody's perfect vulnerable. Time. Right you got, I would do it now, get your playoff run, maybe try to see how far you can go. And then suck once you have to pay off. Okay, cause, okay. So hypothetical, they get uh, they get Kirk Cousins. Okay. They take Saquon, and then they get uh, Bradley Chubb or something like that. You know, a defensive player. They already the have a defense. Uh, also, uh, or take another defensive really. player. Or really, I don't think they take. They take some receivers now. You got three headed monster now. Just or if okay. you really want to screw people, take Josh Rosen still, or one of those uh, quarterbacks. Okay. And keep them behind, uh, like you said, because eventually they're going to have to pay all these guys. Yeah. So once I mean, your cousin's contract comes up, you still got a quarterback who's been developing behind him for years. I mean, by then, I think, I mean, Kaiser, they got four be right. I think Kaiser would be all right by then. I mean, they, they got four years before they have to pay him. I forgot Kaiser was there. But what I'm saying is, so they do that. All this shit works out. They come through, <laughs> and they, they like upset the Patriots and you know, the Steelers. Like, Could you imagine like we the, the, the news story next year if the Browns came back and... Went to the Super Bowl or some shit like that. I mean, that'd be insane. great, and it needs to happen because no one's no, no one's checking for them. Like no one's checking for Jacksonville. No, no one was checking. Yeah, and look how far no. they went. You know, if yeah. they just didn't turn into holes at the end, they, they would have seen the Super Bowl. But <laughs> well, they're getting well, they get franchise tag Allen Robinson. No, but he it don't matter, man. Yeah, like, he he has to go somewhere. He, if he doesn't go somewhere where they have like like a Atlanta, or well, he's probably gonna go Baltimore. No one. If he, Baltimore. if I were him, I would go to Atlanta or go to New New Orleans. New Orleans will be back. They'll be back. And they need the receivers. They should have been there. They should have been there. They should have been there. No, yeah. because Case Keenum is a playoff winning quarterback, unlike Kirk Cousins, who is not franchise tag. Who's Chase basically Keenum. a free agent. All right. He's gonna go somewhere. You know, it's, I really think it's funny how you know. It, I hope he does go somewhere, and I hope that he just bombs it because he's not. He's not a starter, man. Who's that? Keenum. Oh no, no, I'll start start. Start. yeah. Poles isn't a starter. Spe- speaking of the Vikings, what are they gonna do for a quarterback? Because they. They got the injury squad. They're, they're, they're talking about the, they did they didn't franchise tag Keenum, so they're probably not going to keep Keenum. Um, there's some talk that they want to get rid of Bridgewater. Yeah. Um, 
which leaves Sam Bradford. Okay. Who is which, technically the best passer, though. Technically, but he played one and a half games. If that he can't game. block. I mean, hey. I mean, block for Case Keenum? No, no, he, he didn't. He was getting out of the pocket. He was getting out of the pocket, but it also, he didn't take contact. It wasn't, his knee hurt. Like, he got out of the game, like, my knee hurts. My knee hurts. <laughs> my knee hurts, bro. Give me another 30 million. And yeah. that's, that's why he didn't play, because, like, they didn't want to put him back in for fear of him blowing his knees out, Bridgewater. <laughs> but. Yeah, they, they, they got some knee issues. You know what they're going to do? <laughs> this is what they're going to do. They're going to take a couple of those defensive players that they don't need. Mm. They're going to send them to the Packers and get Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, after the Woods. <laughs> okay, that, that so. is like just deja vu. It means you're going to have Brett Favre do the same exact thing. Like, and then you're going to have Aaron Rodgers. I know what he's trying to do. I'm not going to let him do it. I know what he's doing. So we're going to just ignore that comment. Actually, no, I do have a question. In that scenario, who becomes the quarterback for the Packers? Honestly, Your boy. <laughs> here's what happens. If that happens, if that were to happen, the Packers better, do. They better trade up and get one of the quarterbacks. <laughs> You might as well get Rose in here. There's going to be Tate Bridgewater, Brett Humley, and <laughs> set all the Packers. And then I'm, I'm about to leave the podcast because I'm going to have a meltdown every, every, every single time we record, guys. That can't happen. You can't have any black quarterbacks in there. <laughs> all, all three starting at the same time. <laughs> the I promise I'm not racist. I'm just telling you I'm just not a fan of the black You never know who they're going to set the ball to. <laughs> Cam, it's Cam and Wilson. That's it, man. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't. But Cam you can't, can't have three other bums. <laughs> Cam can't win. Cheese monster. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have Brissette and Hungry. All right. I mean, you know. And Bridgewater, bro. What's up with all these? What up? What's up with all these? These bees, Brett, Brett, and and Brissette, and Bridgewater, and or, and you know what other bee? Bums. <laughs> Cause they all are. Now we'll see. That. No, no, I don't even want to think about that. Guy. That's like an apocalypse in my head right now. <laughs> Jesus, moving on, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we, we can talk about uh, <laughs> LeBron James and the uh, corrupt NCAA. We'll see, no, he didn't play in the NCAA. You don't want to be able to recruit him, man. Come on now. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> so what's, what's really convenient is how the NBA is talking like, oh, we're going to start talking to high school players now, mm. you know, so they can stop doing this one on the done deal, while LeBron James' son is about to play in high school. Hmm. 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 It's convenient. Hmm. Mm. I mean, it's just. I mean, it's not like that they're gonna be that dope. Oh, shit. Like, and it's not like. like it's, it's not gonna be the same, though, when LeBron came out. He's not gonna be getting endorsement deals and shit like that. Like, Bro, he's not be, LeBron runs Nike. He has oh. a lifetime contract with Nike, and his shoes are garbage. So he's gonna get <laughs> his son a lifetime contract? Yeah. Yeah, he better. He'll start his own shoe company like the Bar Ball and be like, these LBJs, let's go. Yeah, he might as well do, go do that. He might as well go do that. And I bet they'll sell, too, like crazy, man. They'll probably sell because it's LeBron's son. Yeah. But he's gotta live up to that name. Right. It's like Michael Jordan's son. Who was Chris. getting? Hey, Michael Jordan's son will tell you straight like, yo, I'm not that good. Like, he gets admitted like, yo, I am not. I'll give you five good files. <laughs> <laughs> and, like two free throws. He's like, I am a defensive not. player. Right. He's like, I run my trophy store. That's all I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I hear this. But now you got his son, Dwayne Wade's son coming out. Yeah. Uh, no, Mel's son's pretty young still. Uh, there was somebody else. Um, John Stockton's son's playing in the G League right now. How's he doing? He's actually doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. There was somebody else's son they kept talking about. I don't remember. Uh, was, I mean, I, I see what he's doing. The NCAA one and done. I feel like NCAA will still. But it's the NBA rule. It's not an NCAA rule. Yeah. What? The what? NBA is institute that rule. But, I mean, the, the, the people want to make money. You want to make money. Well, I guess they're right. saying, like, we got this G League thing. Right. Mm-hmm. We so should just it. bring them up, let them play in the G League yeah. for three years. So, yeah. That's good. So it's either, I mean, if NBA really wanted to flex that muscle, they'd be like, okay, here's the thing. Either college, you start paying these guys, or we'll just, G League will just take over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think Gatorade would be like, yo, we'll throw every dollar we got. Yeah, Gatorade's oh, yeah. like, yeah, go ahead. And then, but then the, in college, it won't die out because you'll still have people that just aren't good enough to go right out. But who's going to want to watch that, though, then? No, oh, because you, you, it's not always about the dope players. It is the schools, man. People love going to go see their schools. I am like, not watching Duke school. if they didn't have dope players. Well, then uh, all it is is that the talent level just dropped, so it's still competitive. It's going to be like D three. It's, it's going to be like SWAC schools, and it's going to be like the NIT tournament. And well, nobody watches I mean, the NIT tournament. All you're losing, you're losing your best player. You're losing, you're losing the best. You're not losing every every high school kid's going to be like, all right, forget that. I just want to go first. So up, right Duke will fall off. I think. I think like you're saying. People will still watch it because it is about the schools, but it's not going to be a widespread audience like it is now. No, like you're going to have March Madness, but you're not going to have everybody going crazy. March Madness is going to last. It's going to be up to the. It's going to be up to. It's going to go back to now being about the coaches. Who's the best coach? 
Yeah, and it's going to be about if you went to the school or if you have like some affiliation. Some affiliation, like you're going to want to watch you're it. Still gonna you're know. still going to have good players, good teams. You're just not going to have those Anthony Davis, you know, those cra- like you know, when Melo came out, all these. You're not going to have these super crazy guys, right. but you're still going to have good games. You're still going to have if, good players. If the G League, if they, if they, if they position that to be basically like the minor leagues of mm-hmm. of basketball, like they want. That, 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 that could really take off because you, you're going to have people that don't want to go to college and yeah. they just want to go and play. They're going to straight out of high school. I mean, that's... But it's, it's not going to be as... I think when you have these great players come out of high school and you send them to these, these big schools where people follow... I think people will follow college more than they will G League. So if I was NBA, I mean, I'd want college and NCAA to pay them. But why, then, why do you think they'll follow... Because, well, me, okay, you got a great player going to Michigan or going to Texas or going to Florida, going to a school that has a huge following anyway. Like, I mean, I don't really follow, I don't really follow basketball that much, but, I mean, I follow Michigan sports, so I, I started following more basketball. But if it's some, they play for the, the Idaho, you know, Bell to- Rockers, no one's going to really watch that. Okay, you got it's a good player, horns, but no one's going to really be like, okay. It's Bell Rockers now. It's what? It's the Big Horns. <laughs> Oh, I, honestly, I didn't know they had a team, to be honest. See what I'm saying? I didn't know that Idaho even had a G League team. But if you pay attention to the upcoming... I don't care about Idaho. Besides, the potatoes are pretty good, though. And I heard you got, like, nice forests. All right. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch us on Instagram. Hey, I like Idaho potatoes, man. Facebook. Hey, shout out to Michigan for... Uh, Back to back Big Ten basketball champs, basketball uh, conference champs. They're gonna get knocked out the tournament. Oh, that's anyway. right. That's right. They're about to get knocked out, dude. Right. It's a guarantee. Get knocked out after they just beat Wisconsin and Michigan State, and then Michigan State shouldn't even have a school right now with all the scandals they got going on. Hey, Damn. hey. Definitely. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Michigan State fan, so knock them out. Don't really matter. But hey, shout out Big Ten and Michigan. I don't think a Big Ten has. Basketball. Again, again. <laughs> Wait till football season starts. He said right? Michigan only. He said Big Ten only, only has basketball guys. Did you, did you hear this? <laughs> it's, it's he true. must not know what hockey is. And Who the fuck watches hockey? Here we go again with this. Also, he must not know. Who what watches college is. hockey? I'm sorry. So I guess Penn State, Ohio State just don't exist. <laughs> and Wisconsin. I guess. And, 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 and Nebraska. You know, I guess all these historic programs don't exist. Uh, the last school for the Big Ten to win a championship was what, Ohio State? Yes. And how long ago was that? Uh, 2014, thank you. 2014. Yes, what year 14. is it? 2018? First, the first playoff. Four first years playoff. Ago? The first playoff. Four years ago? Wow. Four years ago. That, that, and they've been in how many? Three of them. And they the lost. Playoffs. The, so the LeBron James of the NCAA. Oh, okay. And, you know, you can follow us on Instagram, okay. Twitter, okay. YouTube, Facebook, everywhere else that we're on. So, tell us on this. I can't deal with this guy. <laughs> <laughs>